Hello, I'm Petronella, author of The Human Being Diet. And you're probably quite surprised to see me surrounded by bread and pasta, because those of you who know me know how very strongly I feel about gluten and wheat and how important it is to get them out of our diet. Bread sometimes called the staff of life, but this stuff, I mean, this will hardly keep anything alive. It will make us feel fat and bloated and sluggish and probably crave more of it were we to eat it. And I can see went back to our childhood and I remember my mother making me sandwiches, strawberry jam sandwiches with lots and lots of butter on and I absolutely adored them. But I was very spotty and I think that that is one of the uh, gluten intolerance symptoms is, is being very spotty and having a spotty bottom as well. So not very nice. What's the problem with gluten? The problem with gluten, which is the main protein in bread, is it's almost impossible to digest. And gluten and casein, which is the dairy protein, share some very funny characteristics. Not only are both of them very hard to digest, but both of them can be used to make glue. And that's the kind of effect they have in our body, sort of gluing everything up, increasing the amount of mucus we produce and everything else. I went to a fantastic lecture by Tom O'Brien a few years ago, a few years after I'd, I'd finished my studies. And he was talking about gluten and autoimmune conditions and cancer and all sorts of awful things. And I came out of there thinking, right, that's it. I'm not, I'm not going to eat wheat and wheat, that's what I said at the time. But I was still eating rye bread and lots of other things like barley, which do contain gluten. And then I went to another talk, a brilliant Italian scientist called Alessio Fazzani. And he's written books about this, and he wrote an incredible paper in 2012 saying that autoimmune disease was not possible without also having a leaky gut. And that is one of the chief things that gluten does for us. It increases this protein called zonulin in the lining of the gut, and zonulin automatically makes the gut leaky. And it can make our, our immune system hyperreactive because when our gut's leaky, there are all sorts of things floating about in the bloodstream that shouldn't be there. And the immune system, which is primed to look after us, to attack anything foreign, looks at those things and starts, well, I don't like the look of that. And it starts attacking the gluten, and then it starts attacking proteins that look like gluten. And one of those proteins is the sequence of proteins on the thyroid gland. It's actually quite similar to gluten itself. So Hashimoto's, big, big no-no for Hashimoto sufferers, is gluten. There's a lot more about it, obviously, in the book, but I just wanted to tell you that to explain why it's so important to get rid of it completely for 16 days. Then you can do what we did when we were training, which was to get rid of wheat, actually not, not, not gluten, wheat itself, for 16 days, not a speck of it anywhere, so looking at labels really carefully, and then having two wheat picks on an empty stomach, and to report back if we noticed we felt anything. Every single person felt something negative. Could have been two, two days later, even three days later, after eating wheat bix Some of us got very bloated, some of us came out in spots, some of us had terrible joint pain, some of us got constipation, others had diarrhea. It affected everybody. It affected me and it made me very bloated, but it also made me very depressed. I had no idea that I could feel like that. On day three of having had the, the wheat bix after 16 days without it, I honestly thought, if this is how life is, I don't want to do it anymore. And I'm not, not you know, making, making that, it, there was nothing fun about it. And it really helped me un understand. And that was obviously a, a mild version of what people can suffer with depression. So if you, if you want to lose weight, if you want to have more energy, if you don't like the idea of having a leaky gut, if you want to feel less hungry, if you want to feel more awake, just get rid of the gluten. It can really transform your life. Really look forward to hearing about your gluten-free experiment.